Uh, just to add to that, I would say that um, in the United States, as uh, Ali mentioned, there's a legal or constitutional protection for free speech, which is built into the, the law of the country. And uh, in addition to the freedom of assembly and the idea that the government should not um, abridge or suppress uh, free speech, there's also freedom of religion is ex- explicitly uh, mentioned in the same in the same uh, amendment to the Constitution. I would say that in addition to a, a legal foundation for this idea, there's also what you might think of as a, a cultural tradition that uh, favors or values freedom of speech. So although you might say, strictly speaking, the government isn't allowed to suppress or abridge free speech or the right of the people to assemble and to um, address their grievances to the government, also because of the strong tradition of uh, a free press in the United States, there's the idea that Not only should the government not restrict those things, but it's a positive good that we should express our ideas and we should express criticism of even dominant or uh, uh, sacred ideas that then allow supposedly the best ideas to rise to the top. Now, it gets much more complicated than that in practice because the tradition of free speech came about in an era before the internet, before algorithms, before Facebook and so forth. Uh, And the idea of a a marketplace of ideas where um, competing notions would uh, lead to the, the, the most well-supported ideas being most widely believed, it's not clear whether the, the circumstances or the, the foundation for that kind of debate is possible with current technology and propaganda and different platforms and so forth. So the, the debate has got much more complicated, but as Ali mentioned, in terms of the foundations, uh, it's very simple. Government cannot uh, restrict the freedom of speech, the, the ideas that people should and must be able to petition the government with their grievances. And then there's also, as I say, a a strong cultural tradition in the United States supporting free speech as a positive cultural value.